If I would have known this would have come together so smoothly, I think I would have actually built this commander deck. We're talking about Otari, Sun's Glory. You can find this lovely Phoenix in the All Will Be One commander decks. And yeah, there's definitely a couple cards we're gonna pull from there, but I took three fun words, focused on those, and I'm just gonna say it. I think I crushed it. So what are those words? Experience, combats, protection. And I think those all make sense here. Atari gets you experience counters. We want to make as many tokens and attack as many times as possible. And since we're going super wide, we need to protect our creatures. So first up, multiple Otaris means multiple experience counters. And Helm of the Host is one of the best ways to do that. Because Helm of the Host was the first card I thought of, the next logical step is Goto, Bandit Warlord. This is infinite combats, if you're into that kind of thing. Since we're doing combats, pumping up our creatures is really important, and we have War Leader's Call, which is an absolutely amazing card from Markov Manor. And we're attacking with lots of creatures on our combats, so Aurelia, the Law Above, is great here. Speaking of combats, Carlatch, Fury of Avernus, has to be in the deck. Same with Seize the Day, Carpe Diem. Also, Aurelia, the War Leader, and Relentless Assault. Now let's talk about experience. Norn's Choir Master is in the same pre-con as Otari. Proliferate can proliferate experience counters, so that seems good. Grateful Apparition, that's from War of the Spark. Proliferate. Lazel, Vlakith's Champion, put more counters on things, that includes experience counters. Hexplate Wallbreaker, more combat. And of course we need protection, like Teferi's Protection and Flawless Maneuver. And obviously, you could just get into the token theme if you really wanted to, so I wanted to shout out a few cards that go well with that. We got Mondrak, Glory Dominus, Perforos, God of the Forge. Trust me, this goes with every token theme. Just take a look at the most popular goblin commanders. And finally, keeping our stuff protected yet again, we've got Iroas, God of Victory, and Blade Historian. So Tari, Sun's Glory is coming back over and over. We're going to have tons of rebels on the battlefield. We're gonna chalk up that experience, which is really hard to get rid of, by the way. So the later the game goes, the better. And let's just do some quick math on how quickly you can take out the entire table. So we got five damage on the first time it attacks, then we add four, so that'll give us nine damage on the second attack. Then we add six, that gives us 15 damage on the third attack. And then we add eight to get us to 23. And we'll just continue that until we get to 120. I was really skeptical about this card until I read a little deeper, and now I'm super stoked for it. Hope this helps.